The March 8th update and maintenance info has released. This is the start of Global's second anniversary. So we do have a festival coming up. We have Queen Deanne. She is a brand new Deanne. This is probably the fifth or sixth one, but we'll take a quick look at her skills. So her first ability, Crazy Rush, inflicts Crush. For every ultimate move gauge orb the hero has, inflicts 20% additional damage, okay? So that's kind of like a reverse detonate. Uh, okay. R second attack, we have a taunt. Assumes a taunt. Uh, HP related stats by 12%, 1830, it's an increase, okay. And then her ult inflicts suppress, which is for every stance effect on the hero, increases damage dealt by 50%. Okay, so you want to stack up hammer spin and then ult. Hits all enemies and restores the HP of all allies by 3%. So it looks like the heal scales at 6-6. Six, six. It restores 50% of the damage. That is a typical festival scaling with ult levels. Always 6-6 six, six have usually a different ability. So this is actually a little better than what's been happening in the past, I would say. I don't think Trader Melly's did something crazy different at 6-6. Six, six. It just scales really hard, so... Uh, her passive, Giant's Pride, when, oh, this is a textbook. When allies receive damage from enemies' attacks, increase the hero's damage dealt by 10% up to 50. Okay, so when her team gets hit, she's going to deal more damage. Great. When the hero loses HP due to skills or effects, up to 5, accumulate the HP loss up to 500k. Okay, so she's keeping track of the amount lost. When using skills, increase the damage by 20% of the accumulated amount. Okay. So she's keeping track of all the HP she loses. And then when she uses a skill, 20% of that HP is an additional damage. Okay. And then when assuming a stance, allies take 40% less damage. Okay. So a lot's going on with Hammerspin. We do want to stance up as much as possible. So that's cool. We got a little animated GIF here. That's, that's sexy. And then we have a... What is a Selector of Bond King... T1, and then obviously Dan at 900. So that's quite the array. This sounds like a very good banner. Those are her skills there. We have a new chapter, chapter 22.5. Looks like we have Vesta Rosa potentially coming. He does have the triple commandment pretty soon. This is his little beastie form. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we have rank 100. So that's great. More stamina and more friends. That's always nice to have. We have a new artifact card set. Increases starting grade SR allies by 20%. Basic stats. SR. What SR units are we using in PvP? So, Gil Thunders. And... <clears throat> and... Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Deanne outfits. Okay, Deanne outfits. We all like some Deanne outfits. Uh, yes, we know how buying outfits works. We have some whoops, new holy relics for King. These, I believe, are going to be... Oh, not just King. All fairies. Okay, fairy mats are going to be from the deer. So if you're farming deer, you can expect to get your fairies. Are these any good? Increased damage dealt by 80% when attacking enemies who are debuffed. King attacking debuffed enemies. Okay. Uh, Fat King increases all the hero stats by 3% for every debuff effect, okay? So King wants debuffs on the enemies. Who? Okay, interesting. Increase fairy ally stats by 20%, okay? Fairy teams, huh? Deplete two orbs from the ultimate move gauge of all enemies at the end of the turn when the hero defeats an enemy. Okay, that kind of sounds like, um, almost like Athena. A little similar, not, not too close, but... Something crazy. So we do have a... Obviously, you can buy all the festival units. Now, probably like 30 minutes ago, King was not on this list. And for everybody that saw the notes, when the notes dropped, you know, everybody was a little upset that he wasn't here. But he is, in fact, going to be here on the coin shop. They did mess up. They did correct it. So that's cool. Gem compensation? I don't think so. Anyways, we have a new Hawk Pass. We have... Green Sariel has an outfit coming up, and then Alat and Gothers are still there. We have the normal Hawk Shop, which is very bad once you get all of these outfits. So 
I hope they update this. They should do something about this. Because <laughs> why can you only buy like these are the only options after you buy all the outfits and the stamps. Like, these are the only reoccurring things. So, uh, and then the hog pass rewards again. They should increase this past twenty five because you can literally you get so many points with the bowls. You you could get to like level fifty easy with this thing. They could this could be so much better value. Uh, consecutive purchase bonus. Your bonus. Okay, that's hawk stuff. New bundles. Yes, the end tickets, of course. Have to have the end tickets. We have special bundles, 300 gem bundle, blah 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 blah. Equipment bundle. Holy cow! Please don't ever <laughs> buy these. These is, this is looks so bad. Uh, why why is R and SR? Okay, maybe maybe R, but SR should never be an option. This is such a such a bait to people that aren't familiar with gear and how this works. Lucky bags are back. I hope they don't have another lucky bag mistake because. I think the gem compensation when they gave out the extra tickets because they messed up and then everybody that already had used all their tickets got gems and the gems were nowhere near worth what you paid and what you got from the previous lucky ticket. It was offset. It wasn't it wasn't good. System updates. We have the new training cave, which I heard is still terrible. So let's see why. Keys are replenished every five days. Now, keys will not automatically replenish and will unlock on a weekly basis. <laughs> okay. Why? <clears throat> they should have... I hate this. It sucks. The weekly thing is terrible. But, I mean, I guess people don't do TC when it could open every five days anyways. But I think this is stupid. I don't know if I've said this before, but I do tell this to a lot of people that they should give out a hourglass and a tc key weekly every week the rotation is dumb and it should not be on a rotation it should just be consistent weekly keys training grotto closure closes once all stages are cleared that's great grotto keys will be used to reset the content and it will not affect the time it opens will be used to reset the content and will not affect the time it opens. okay so the training can is reset in 10 hours. We'll still close it. Okay, good. So that means when you claim the mail for the key and you don't claim it, like, effectively, if your timer's about to run out and you claim it, it just resets the timer. So that's going to be gone. So that's good. All knights have already opened their training. Reset. The, okay, yep. Training grotto that was reset. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. To ensure your safety, please log out. Okay. Is this what it looks like now? Get some extra little jewels. They should have fixed the rewards. Tell me they changed the rewards. UI will be cool. Okay. An illusion amber will appear once you clear through. Yeah, that doesn't. That's the same thing. Isn't that the same thing? Yeah. Goddess amber level four. Oh my goodness. Level four. That's crazy. Training grotto deck save support. You can now access previously saved decks when you reinstall the app. Oh my goodness. This is getting crazy. So they don't update the rewards. You get like, what is this? Okay, why does it go two, three, five? First of all, so you get ten hammers. Whoop they do, and then you can still get shafted and get like nine UR stones, and then it only caps at like eighteen. So you can't even make half of a set, and you get to hammer it twice, unless you get lucky with the drops. I think hammers drop. I don't even pay attention to the rewards in TC because it's so bad. But whatever. Improve the hero organize function. Okay, so this is QOL stuff. So you can sort by affinity. That's nice. You can sort by, what is that, passive? Holy Relic equipment affinity and passive. And ultimate move has been improved. Oh, it tells you whether or not the ult is at max level if you sort by ult. That's actually pretty cool. Improve the use of one use items. Consumables. So they don't have a... They don't have a cap of 10. You can just spam them all. Okay, so it doesn't cap at 10, but I don't know if people do this still, but don't use all of your stamina pots in one go and then not use the stamina because it's a waste. It's on a recharge. So now they're giving people the option to just pop your entire inventory of pots. Please don't do that. Ultimate move cutscene costume info. Okay, so if the costume changes the characters... 
I guess, in-game design to a certain extent. I know some outfits do that. You can preview how that looks on an ult. That's... Oh, yeah. We've been waiting for that one. <clears throat> Improved artifact card and added an auto set. The auto function, that's pretty cool. That should be helpful. It does take a while to set up, but the only problem is the auto. How is that going to work? Is it just going to pick the highest CC cards? Can you make the auto pick highest HP or highest attack? Doesn't really say. Prove the setting for consecutive equipment enhancement. That's cool. When you enhance equipment exclusively by using gold and enhance SR equipment, basic setting will be fixed to use anvils instead of diamonds. Great, because people have accidentally spent diamonds. I know I've done that like once or twice. But that's good. Item added to the coin shop. Yes, they brought back these freaking tickets. They what is this is the unknown ticket, right? Because Meg went to the draw and then the tickets left the coin shop. So that made a lot of people upset this is also not a login reward unit i know a lot of people thought that you would get a free mag but that is not the case i'm pretty sure this changes who welcomes you when you first open the game so great uh what is this new a buff oh you get a little buff to sario 10 percent additional damage per active stance on self when he's ulting okay and for whatever reason, they made the Red Roxy outfit 20 diamonds per UR piece. Knights who have already purchased the costumes will be compensated 10 diamonds per piece. Great. So you get the diamonds back. So that's good. So that's, that's a multi if you guys already have this Roxy outfit. Why did they do that? And why only Roxy? Am I missing something with that? Costumes were changed to be sold as ongoing. We're set with an incorrect diamond cost. So the incorrect was 30 a piece? I don't know. Okay. Isn't... It's 30 diamonds per UR, alpha, UR piece, isn't it? I'm pretty sure, because SSR is 20. All right, whatever. All right, new events. Um, you get a DN ticket a day. And it takes 10 tickets to do a multi. So is this two multis, or... 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, something like that. Okay. Claim for 30 days, blah, blah, blah. Final reward for some special missions is a great awakening token that we all needed. Oh, you get another multi. So you get three free multis for Deanne. So that's more than they've normally done. That's so generous. We have a new boss, Baluja, Baluha. Okay, what's he give? Awakening coins. Oh, the Power Ranger suit. That's cool. They got a little preview of that. Okay. Okay. This is um, good stuff. Clear count. That's how you get the Valentine Or not Valentines. The new set. Ooh, and a lucky ticket. Lucky bag ticket. Obviously, you can buy the mats in the coin shop. Not worth doing. Details. Eh, we know how that stuff works. Hawk's Treasure Hunt, you get additional packs, more lucky tickets. This is actually pretty good. Usually the tracks have like every material you could use. And then the good old Treasure Hunt wheel where if you slow down your in-game speed, you can slow down the wheel and pretty much manipulate this to use to your advantage. You use like the least amount of pickaxes for like the most speed or however... I you know what I'm saying if you've done this before. You can slow down the in-game speed so the wheel doesn't spin as fast, so you don't have to spend more pickaxes to slow down the wheel. I think Satan did a video on that like years ago. I'm sure other people have all done that as well, so that's a returning event. How to get the pickaxes. Literally everything in the game gives you a pick. You can buy the picks, again, not worth it. Secret contraptions, blah, 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 blah. Reward dungeon. So this is Fort Solgris, I'm guessing. They give you some extra mats for drops. That's cool. King's mix, uh, material exchange event is back. I like this event. This is really nice. I think this should be permanent, and it shouldn't be event because why can King only exchange like not any of this stuff on a regular basis? Because this is all really good. Lucky bag event. Yep. So we know how that works. Open all six bags. You can buy the bags. I'm going to say wait on buying the bags in case they shaft us again and 
don't want to go through that. So probably buy the bags in the last day if you're going to buy the bags at all. Special item, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know how the bags work. Uh, boosting events. Double XP. Cool. Everyone's going to hit rank 100 after day... The next day of Half Stamina for Fort Solaris anyways. Main stage, free stage, stamina discount. Okay, so we can farm food and gear for like a month on Half Stam. That's cool. Main quest free continue. Don't know whoever uses that. All shops open. Cool. Shop purchase limit increase. Cool. Hero enhance rate up. Equipment salvage rate up. I did, but it's this is should just always be paired with gear gotcha rate up. That just this doesn't make any sense. It, why is that so rare? I don't understand. And then a battle event for some XP pods. That's great. And then all the Valentine stuff is over. So that is quite the update. So we got a lot of content coming. So that is going to wrap it up for our March 7th. What is it? 7th? 8th? 8th. 7th, 8th. Update. Patch preview.